Question number 33, two masses M1 and M2 in kg are attached by a massless string. How do you determine tension and acceleration? Assume no friction. Assume M1, M2 and theta, the angle of the horizontal unknown. Again, welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Okay, so you have the mass M1 accelerating down the inclined plane. There is no friction and mass M2 accelerates up. So whenever we see non-zero masses, you isolate those masses and then look at forces acting on those masses. So let's isolate mass M1. Then here is mass M1. And we have the gravitational force acting vertically down actually m1g. So now we need to resolve this gravitational force into parallel component and perpendicular component. So this is w parallel and this is W perpendicular. Okay, and then it is accelerating down. It is accelerating down. And we also have tension to the right. Tension is a pulling force. It always pulls away from the object. All right, net force along the horizontal equals M1A. Bigger force minus small force equals net force. So if that is the case, then we say W parallel minus T equals M1A. Okay, let's go to the mass M2 and what do we see? It is accelerating up, so ten, we expect the tension to be greater than gravitational force. So, so here is your tension M2g. That force along the vertical equals M2a. So you say T minus M2g equals M2a. All right. Now let's put those equations on a new page and what does it look like? So W parallel minus T equals M1A and T minus M2G equals M2A. You add and what do we get? W parallel plus T and minus T cancels out. Minus M2G equals M1A plus M2A. So you get A is equal to W parallel minus M2G divided by M1 plus M2. because A is common, so this should be equal to A times M1 plus M2. So W parallel minus M2G divided by M1 plus M2 gives you the acceleration. And once you have the acceleration, substitute back into T minus M2G equals M2A. All right, so T minus M2G equals M2A implies implies T equals M2G plus M2A, and we already know what A is. Okay, so at the 200 level, how does it look like? At the 200 level, how does it look like? At the 200 level, again, we isolate mass M1. We isolate mass M1, and what do we see?
we have the gravitational force acting vertically down, but we can resolve that gravitation, that vector into its horizontal and vertical components. And what do we see? We have W parallel equals M1 G sine theta and W perpendicular equals M1 G cos theta and we have T to the right and we have normal force like that. All right, so what do we get? So you say W parallel minus T equals M1A or M1G sine theta minus T equals M1A. If you go to the mass M2, for the mass M2, what do we have? We have the tension greater than M2G. M2G is the gravitational force, so you say T minus M2G equals M2A. So put these equations together. So M1G sine theta minus T equals M1A and T minus M2G equals M2A. You add and what do we get? M1G sine theta minus M2G equals M1A plus M2A. So you get A is equal to M1G sine theta minus M2G over. This is M1A plus M2A, right? So M1 plus M2 times A. So divided by M1 plus M2. So that is your A. And go back to equation number two. This is equation number two. Uh, call that equation one. So go back to equation number two. Let's do it in red. So you say T minus M2G equals M2A or T equals M2G plus M2 times A or T is equal to M2G plus M2 times A and A is M1G sine theta minus M2G over M1 plus M2. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.